Hi, this is Phil and Trish at Liberty Skis headquarters in Avon, Colorado with Doug McCaffrey, the national sales manager, Doug? Correct. Of, of Liberty. And we're going to go through the 2022-2023 Liberty Evolve collection. So, Doug, why don't you start off on the women's side with Trish and go through what we have offerings there. Then we'll talk about the men's collection. Um, first, I would like to say I, I like how you leave this window so you can see the VMT technology, which this is the 3.0 version. Um, the, the VMT technology is vertical metal technology, which brings you these level, uh, these vertical struts essentially through the ski to give you that dampening and give you that torsional rigidity without putting a whole layer of metal in and that lightens it up, right? Yeah, it saves quite a bit of weight savings just by running um, the metal strut tip to tail. We do that as well. So you are getting the dampening quality as Trish mentioned without the weight. So one thing that we've always prided ourselves with Liberty is the weight of our skis. Mm -hmm. So, and this is no exception throughout the Evolve series. Um, certainly on some models, a little narrower waisted, we're gonna focus a little more mm -hmm. on the front side, but we still are really um, coming out with a lightweight product. We've so. had our testers on both 84 and the 90 women's version of this ski, and they've been a home run. I know in the spring when we were at Arapaho Basin a year ago, we had some people on the 90W and it was just hands down. Women were fighting over, when you get ready, let me know when you can buy that. And, uh, but the 84 is definitely more front side bias. And, you know, and we can't talk about the technology alone. The, the top sheets themselves are just gorgeous. You can't, you can't dismiss the top sheets. Yeah, I mean, it's something that we do exclusively every year. We're gonna flip graphics on it just to stay current. Uh, we're always looking at color palettes mm -hmm. and then uh, just really what's going on in the industry. So, um, you know, we try to just make a ski that's great on the inside as well as the outside. And now I think Phil wants to talk to you about a new addition you have to your line. Yep. So on the men's side, again, we, on the women's, we've got the 84 and the 90. Now the men's, we expand past that. Yeah. When the Evolve collection came out a couple of years ago, we were early adapters on it, but 90 and 100 were some of some of our testers' favorite skis. Now that line is also expanded to the 84, and like Trish referred to, was a little more of a frontside oriented version of those skis. And it really took the place of a ski that VTech that we really liked, but this ski here, shape-wise, was more conducive to more people in more conditions. So we understand why we went this direction. So we've got an 84 and 9100, and our big boy here, what we almost call it, it's a pro model, the 110. Okay. Yeah, and that was an addition after the collection was there. We had a fair amount of requests from uh, just some charging athletes, mm -hmm. and we delivered on that. We said, well, you know, we like the 100, but we need something bigger. You know, there are those days, it's a directional three ride ski, um, clearly based on the waist width, it's gonna be your big pow day. Someone who's, you know, a little bit uh, used to really finishing that turn and getting the tail to come around. It's kind of the theme with the Evolve series. Um, we have the Origin series that's done very well on our free ride collection. This is just a different take on what we're doing. You know, everyone's got a different feel for what they like in a ski. Um, what Phil was talking about was we first developed the V series a few years ago. It was a collection that we hadn't done before with Liberty. So we wanted to make sure that we, we have the capability people are asking. So we did, we developed it. And then we started working uh, into the V series and then the Evolve was really the evolution of where we started. So. And taking a look at the ski and again, the 100 and the 90 and the 84, basically the same shapes. But if we want to hold up here, we can see actually when we get into the 110 and we look at our tip profiles through here, this isn't just a bigger 100. The 110 here is going to be a little more of a off-piste oriented, definitely that Charger, a great wind buff ski. I mean, this is a snow mass ski. It's for Palisades, Tahoe, Jackson Hole, that type of skier. This ski, type of ski that's just going to eat up vertical. Correct. It's uh, It's been fun, but it also, because of the VMT technology and the side cut we built into it, not afraid to throw down on a groomer when you're heading back after your yeah. first lap or a couple laps out there. So um, a lot of versatility in this line. Uh, it's one of my favorites is the Evolve series. 
Um, I'm usually either found on the 100 or on the 110, depending on snow conditions. That's one of the things I really like with this collection of skis. It's for somebody who really likes to finish that turn. I mean, you can work the tail if and when you want it to, but if you want to lay this ski over, it's not that big twin tip that's going to release that tail. It's not for that skier that's going to ski backwards a lot. I mean, you, that's where you've got the Genesis series. Yeah, and also the Helix as well. Yeah. I mean, for the Evolve, for us, I mean, um it's it's been a great um sort of line or collection it complements what we're doing out there um the tail shape you know it's still forgiving enough um in in those all conditions it's mm -hmm. not just you don't want to pigeonhole anything into just good groomer ski but it's a directional free ride we're seeing more of that in the market um we this has been a few years we've been out so um like i said it's been a success for us it's a little bit different for what we've typically been known for, but over the last two or three years, we've gained a lot of traction with it. I mean, Bill, I think you said to me one day in a conversation, it's probably the most underrated product that you've been on in a while. Yeah, so. no, it, it, unfortunately it's under the radar for a lot of people, and this is why we're doing these videos. So, but to get the people out on the 90 and the 100, I mean, these are skis I'll put up against any ski from any other manufacturer out there. Perfect. Thank you. We appreciate that. We've worked hard on it. So. <laughs> so, Well, this is Phil, Trish, and Doug at the Liberty headquarters, and we're talking about, the, again, the all-new Liberty collection for 2023, and we're talking about these skis because skiing, skiing is, is fun. fun. If you enjoyed this informative video, hit that bell, subscribe, so that you'll stay up to date on the new videos, and check out SkiTalk.com for more ski-related content. Also, please follow SkiTalk.com on all of your social media channels. No scenes from Hot Tub Time Machine were reenacted during the production of this video.